Hi everyone, long time no see. I apologize for my absence. Um, summer has just taken me out of social media realm and I'm not mad about that. I spent a lot of time with my kids and just enjoying our summer, um, but not good for YouTube channel. <laughs> so I um, wanna shoot something really quick today, a few products that I feel are under hype. These aren't like hidden products, but I don't hear them talked about much. And I found myself using these constantly. And I thought, you know, I want to just give these a little bit of love and uh, share them. And they're great products. And I feel like people should talk about them more. Um, so I'm going to jump right in, not waste any time. The first one I want to talk about, I have mentioned before, it is this Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. I picked this up, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and I fell in love with it. It is not full coverage. It is definitely light to medium coverage that you can build. I'm wearing it today. It, it looks like skin. I just touched up my makeup, just kind of powdered. I did my face around 9 a.m. and it's about 3 in the afternoon and my face looked great. Like I had minimal creasing from my face movements and like everything looks so beautiful. It's not patching away anywhere. It's not rubbing off. It hasn't transferred. I mean it just so so impressed with this and I do not hear it talked about much because it's not a full coverage glam foundation but for every day it's got SPF 30 in it. I have used this constantly over the summer and I've also mixed it in with other foundations because the consistency of it, of it, of it is so creamy and beautiful and just makes it really feel like a moisturizer on the skin. So I'll keep using this and highly recommend it and do not feel like it is talked about enough. The next thing I want to mention is a concealer. And I love this. It brightens so well under your eyes. It does not crease, surprisingly. Um, it is not full, full coverage like your Tarte Shape Tape, that sort of thing. But for an everyday thing, when you're trying to match consistencies um, and you don't want there to be a difference in the thickness of your skin, like your foundation and your concealer, this just melts into your skin. I've worn this without foundation and it just just goes away on my skin but it brightens up my under eyes and just makes me feel refreshed and it blends in really really well with your foundations it just plays well with everything and I have been super impressed with this and I have been using this all summer so this is the Clinique airbrush concealer major win for me this is great I have two lip products that I want to talk about, both of which I feel I really, really like because they have hyaluronic acid in it, and that is something that is wonderful for every surface of your body, especially your lips. Um, the first is this from Makeup Forever. This is their Ultra HD Booster, um, Lip Booster, and it is a serum, basically a lip serum. This is the clear one, and they have a tinted one, which I haven't tried, but I picked this up. Um, to kind of prep my lips before, like when I'm doing my makeup, I'll put this on and kind of let it set and nourish my lips before I get to the end and I put on a lipstick. This does such a phenomenal job of not necessarily just prepping your lips for a lipstick, but nourishing them. Like my lips feel so juicy and so healthy with this. You can wear this alone. Your lips will look a little fuller. They will look like you just had your eight glasses of water um, and layering a lipstick on top of it takes it to the next level. So this all the way around has been amazing for my lips and I have loved, loved, loved this product whether I'm wearing a lip or not. It has been so good for my lips. This is going to have a permanent place in my makeup drawer. I, I really don't go a day without it whether I'm doing makeup or not because it has just really just brought my lips back to life. The next is this lip liner from Marc Jacobs and I feel like this goes for the whole range. This is just the particular shade that I love. It's called Nudist and these are infused with hyaluronic acid and they just sit on the lips so beautifully and the tone of this one in particular if you're looking for a nude liner is so beautiful it's not too orange it's not too brown it's not too pink like it's just right and I use it you see I'm really kind of running out of it I've used it constantly and I will fill in my entire lip with this I can just line it and kind of buff it or feather it out this is a beautiful lip liner and it feels so good on the lips. Not too slippy, it's not too drying. And I don't see these talked about enough, I feel. Um, and I really, really, really love these for a lip liner. You're gonna get your money's worth. This one is an awesome one. 
I want to talk for a second about Real Techniques brushes. Um, these, of course, are well known and they're very easy to come by, but I feel like Morphe is really, as far as an affordable brush range, really kind of driving it home. So many people have codes and sponsorships and um, nothing at all wrong with that, but I've just, I love these brushes. I've added a couple more um, to my collection. This is the blush brush. And I actually have been using my fingers and brushes for most of my face stuff, all of my face stuff. I haven't touched my beauty blender all summer. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I haven't. And I'm sure I'll use it again because that tool is amazing, but I've just really been liking working in and buffing in with brushes and my fingers and even um, going and just patting off the excess if you need to. I, really really impressed with these with the price point um the way they wash and clean and hold up i love these brushes if you need some affordable ones these are a wonderful wonderful option we have a lot of these at our studio and um they're just great i just feel like they deserve a little more love because you see so many morphe 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 brushes and i have plenty they're wonderful brushes but these the more i use them the more i love them and big shout out to them the last thing I want to talk about is actually a vitamin, and this is from Halo Beauty. This is Tati Westbrook's brand. Um, she's a very, very well-known um, YouTube channel, Glam Life Guru, and I. this is my second bottle, and I am now purchasing a third because I, I took two bottles and I took some time off just to kind of see what the difference was there, and really the only thing I've heard about this, apart from Tati, has been the whole hoorah at the beginning of people kind of coming at her and just it just created this whole mess. I was interested, tried it out, had my healthcare professional look at the ingredients. I'm not pregnant or nursing, nor will I become pregnant again. Um, and so it was a go for me. This for me, the biggest difference is in your skin and the hydration in your skin and the softness of your skin blew me away. And like I said, taking a step back and I stopped after I finished my second bottle and not having it for a couple weeks, the difference was immense. So I love this. I'm a big fan of this. I didn't want to get involved in the whole, oh, Halo, is it worth it? What is my dog? That was not, I wasn't looking for clickbait. Um, I have genuinely used this. This is, like I said, this was my second empty bottle. And I love this and I'm going to purchase it again and again and again because I really love the difference it has made in my skin. Um, I have very good natural nails, but right now they're very flimsy. When I was on this, they were hard as rocks. They did not break. They, um, the strength there was just incredible. So again, taking it and stepping back, this is a game changer for me and I love anything that's going to help me from the inside out. I don't really hear a lot of really pronounced influencers talking about this, whether they use it or have liked it. Like I said, it was just kind of that initial, ah, you know, she's coming out with a vitamin. Um, so for what it's worth, I love this. I will keep buying this. This is a definite permanent step in my beauty routine. That is just a quick roundup of a few products that I feel are underhyped and just not given enough love or attention that I feel work really, really well. Things that I am using all the time, constantly, whenever I am doing my makeup or in my beauty routine, like the lip stuff or the vitamins. Um, and I just wanted to kind of share and shed a little light on them because they are that good and I feel deserve that spotlight. So I have missed y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do a much better about getting back in a routine of putting these up. My kids will be going back to school soon. Um, and my youngest will now be in K4, which is five days a week, which gives me a few more days to kind of figure this schedule out. Enjoy making these. I hope you enjoy watching them. I really appreciate all of you that do. Please like and subscribe if you have not done that already. Everyone enjoy the rest of your summer and I will see y'all in the next video, hopefully sooner than later.